This is some data from the spectrometry experiment. In the first column, I have concentration in units of molarity. Second column, I have percent transmittance. And I also included the unknown under your data of the known solutions. Here, we're going to calculate the absorbance or optical density using this equation I have in column I. What you'll do is left click in the box. You will type in equal minus sign log and you want log base 10. You want the percent t, so that's b2. You just click it, slash 100, close parentheses, and you hit enter and you'll see your absorbance is entered in the line. You left click bring your cursor to the lower right hand corner, left click again, bring it down. Now I'm going to bring it down one more time, a little bit long further to get the absorbance of the unknown and we don't need that so we'll just delete it. Now we need to plot this data and what I'll do is highlight it and what you need to do is you can't see it but right by the home tab you have insert, click it you go to your charts, which is above these lines or columns. You'll select scatter, and you'll select the one that's in the upper left-hand corner. And what you get is somewhat of a mess, but we're going to clean it up. Within the box, but outside the graph, you're going to right-click, and you're going to select your data. I'm going to edit the series, and I'm going to call this absorbance ABS versus concentration and units of molarity and the X values that we're going to look for X is going to be concentration so you click that box you go to the concentration and then you click it again for the Y values we want absorbance so you click the Y value box and you're going to uh, select all the values for absorbance, not the unknown. Click this box again. You're going to hit OK. You're not interested in the other series, so you're going to remove them. You're left with one series. You hit OK. And there's your plot. Uh, you will have to which label your axes. So in the chart layouts, I usually choose the first one. Click this. You type in absorbance, A, B, S, O, R, B, A, N, C, E. And here is your concentration in units of molarity. And I finish that. You don't need that. Get rid of it. You need your trend line. So what you do is you right click, add trend line. You will now, it's linear. You go down, you display your equation. You now display R. You close. And here's the equation of the straight line. R squared gives you some indication how good your data fits to that line. So what you now have is the equation of the line, you have your absorbance, which is y for your unknown. You plug this number in for y, you solve for x, which is the concentration of your unknown solution that you need to report in your lab report. And that's all there is to it.